Okay, so here we are in Unreal Engine. I'm playing the level and I've got NDI video source playing in the screen. I have other tutorials that show you how to set this up and I'll link to those in the description. We have one little problem though, and that is if I stop the play, I'll hit escape. All right, so now the video is locked, it's not playing. We wanna be able to play in the editor without having to run the level. So all I'm gonna do is go into the actor that has my event trigger. So event begin play, and then we go through all of the steps that are covered in the other tutorials about actually launching the NDI receiver. I'm just gonna change this. I'm gonna right click and add a custom event. So I type in custom, add custom event. I'll give this name SD, I'm um, sorry, NDI start. That's the name of that event. And I will take this, double click this line and delete it. And instead of starting our find network chain from event begin play, we're gonna start from NDI start. And finally, event begin play will launch NDI start. So we can still see that when we do run the level. So I'll just type in NDI and start. And sure enough, call function NDI start. So that was available because I've already created this. So now if we begin play, NDI start is run. That's a function. Here's that function. It'll play anytime uh, it's called. The nice thing about this being a custom function is we can say call in editor. So let's check that on, compile, save, and close. Now the nice thing is when we select this editor, actor, I apologize, in the editor, we should be able to see right here in its detail properties, there's the NDI start button that's been added because it's now a custom event that can be launched in editor. Let's hit NDI start. And now we're live inside the editor without running the level. And that's it. Hope this helps. Till next time, have fun.